For the first time, China has reportedly flown its frontline fifth-generation fighter jet, the J-20, through the strategic and heavily monitored Tsushima Strait near Japan and South Korea, and the Bashi Channel, a crucial choke point located between the Philippines and Taiwan. That is one of the US's most advanced air defense systems. To date, only eight THAAD batteries have been manufactured, of which only seven are operational. Of the seven, two are forward deployed to Israel to stave off Iranian ballistic missile threats. One THAAD battery has been sold to Saudi Arabia. Two THAAD batteries are in the continental US, and one is deployed to Guam on a long-term basis. The seventh THAAD battery has been loaned to South Korea. The claim made on Chinese state-run CCTV boasts that despite Beijing flying its stealth fighter jets through these heavily monitored channels, the incident was not reported by any armed forces active in the region, a not so subtle reference to the US, which maintains a heavy military presence in this region apart from the Korean and Japanese forces. Though the CCTV report doesn't explicitly mention the J-20, there were more than a few clues in the report, leaving little doubt that the aircraft in question was none other than the J-20 Mighty Dragon, China's most advanced stealth fighter jet, which is the tip of the spear for the PLA Air Force. In a series aired on July 27, state broadcaster CCTV reported that the elite Air Force unit, the 1st Fighter Brigade, now flies missions over the Bashi Channel and Tsushima Strait, and conducts patrols around Taiwan. Notably, the 1st Fighter Brigade was the first PLA Air Force unit to receive the new generation aircraft. The report signifies that China is increasingly confident in the J-20 stealth and its air combat capabilities. The report is significant as it comes just days after CCTV reported a second encounter between J-20 and a foreign aircraft, again, not named by the CCTV report, but most probably the F-35. The J-20 and the F-35 have also engaged in previous head-to-head -head confrontations. Additionally, US officials have also noted the J-20's combat capabilities. The Eurasian Times has reported in detail about that encounter between the J-20 and the F-35, such J-20 and F-35 encounters over the Pacific could become commonplace, giving both the PLA Air Force and the US Air Force ample opportunity to study and analyze each other's frontline fifth-generation fighter jets. This would mean that the PLA Air Force is now increasingly confident about the capabilities of the J-20 to challenge the F-35. As such, these two reports highlight the rapid modernization of the PLA Air Force, which is now leveraging its frontline fifth-generation stealth fighter jet, the J-20, for mid-air interceptions over China's maritime boundary, and even for regular air patrols near adversary territory. Mighty Dragons near South Korea and Japan, the Tsushima Strait is a narrow and heavily monitored waterway, separating South Korea from Japan. It is also a significant choke point connecting the Sea of Japan, also known as the East Sea, with the East China Sea. Notably, this narrow channel is saturated with advanced air defense systems. According to the South China Morning Post SCMP, the area is within the range of a dense network of US, Japanese, and South Korean radar systems, including the US THAAD anti-missile system. THAAD is one of the US's most advanced air defense systems. To date, only eight THAAD batteries have been manufactured, of which only seven are operational. Of the seven, two are forward deployed to Israel to stave off Iranian ballistic missile threats. One THAAD battery has been sold to Saudi Arabia. Two THAAD batteries are in the continental US, and one is deployed to Guam on a long-term basis. The seventh THAAD battery has been loaned to South Korea. Both South Korea and Japan also operate numerous Patriot air defense batteries. According to reports, South Korea operates eight Patriot batteries, while Japan has as many as 24 Patriot air defense batteries. Despite the presence of numerous radars and air defense systems, China claims, the intrusion by the J-20 was not reported by any military, indicating that no radar system detected the stealth aircraft. Chinese jets had transited through the strategic channel for the first time in 2017. Beijing flew its H-6K bombers and older J-11 fighters. However, at that time, the aircraft were monitored closely by the Japanese military. According to the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, the Tsushima Strait is designated for international navigation, granting aircraft transit passage rights. However, the strait is within the air defense identification zones of both Japan and South Korea. The Bashi Channel is a waterway located in the Luzon Strait, between the Philippines and Taiwan. It forms a key part of the sea route connecting the Pacific Ocean and the South China Sea. 
It is a strategically important area, particularly for maritime shipping and military operations. Notably, both the Tsushima Strait and the Bashi Channel are strategically located and will be crucial in China's attempts to take Taiwan. The CCTV report didn't specify when the reported incident took place. However, the report comes amid heightened tensions between Beijing and Tokyo, as both sides recently accused each other of violating their airspace. Earlier this month, Tokyo and Beijing traded accusations over close encounters between their warplanes in the East China Sea. China's deployment of the J-20 for these missions underscores Beijing's growing assertiveness in the region and the increasing availability of the J-20. By 2024, the People's Liberation Army Air Force had equipped 12 air brigades with J-20s, with three brigades entirely reliant on the aircraft. Production estimates range from 170 to 230 aircraft by 2023, with projections of 1,000 by the early 2030s. Our weapons, combat concepts, and personnel are all steadily improving, Wing Commander Wang Nan of the 1st Fighter Brigade told CCTV. We have made breakthroughs in integrated air combat. A Chinese military aviation expert, Andreas Ruprecht, has noted that the J-20's deployment across all five PLA Air Force Theater commands by 2026 signals China's intent to assert dominance over the Taiwan Strait in the South China Sea, as well as its emerging role as the PLA Air Force frontline fighter jet. A Pentagon report published in December last year projected that China would have 400 J-20 fighters in operation by the end of this year, making it the world's biggest fleet of stealth jets. China's current production rate for J-20s is around 120 aircraft per year. For perspective, Lockheed Martin produces nearly 150 F-35s annually. However, the F-35s are used by 19 countries, whereas China is the sole operator of the J-20. China also operates several variants of the J-20, including the upgraded J-20A and twin-seater J-20S. Furthermore, a 2025 breakthrough in silicon carbide semiconductors reportedly tripled the J-20's ESA radar detection range to 1,000 km, surpassing the F-35's 200 to 300 km range. They are also armed with long-range PL-15 missiles. China recently announced that the J-20 will also be modified to carry nuclear weapons. Notably, while China is open to exporting its fifth-generation stealth fighter jet, the J-35A, Beijing has not placed the J-20 on the export market, despite its nearly eight-year service. This clearly shows that, just like the US in the case of the F-22, China wants to keep the J-20 a closely guarded secret.